Yo, what do you two be Kelly back again with another banger today's video y'all I'm going to be talking about whatever happened to the season 5 last chance you stars and other people who made an appearance in the show since some people they did not always show that much or some people they just didn't show at all for some reason that probably should have gotten some more screen time now I'm gonna try to make this as spoiler free as I can but there will probably most likely be some spoilers so if you haven't watched it yet click off the video watch the season and come back to this one and when you come back remember to destroy that like button the first guy we're going to talk about today is Dior Walker Scott and Dior Walker Scott is my favorite character in the whole show right now I really liked him the dude was a hard worker and always put in the grind and the dude was a baller and an athlete he was a receiver this past season, and I can even tell you some of his stats. He played in 11 games, and he had 456 receiving yards and 4 touchdowns. But just to let you know, he had to play a few games at quarterback since all the quarterbacks went down with injury. Really, only two of them went down with injury. One of them was already hurt before the season started and really couldn't play at all. Well, Dior is now on Hawaii's football team as a preferred walk-on, but he is going to be fighting for a scholarship once he's able to practice full-time with the team since coronavirus kind of ruined that. The next guy I'm going to talk about is RJ Stern, wide receiver. Now, according to 247 Sports, he had three offers. Adams State, Southwestern Oklahoma State, and Tusculum in Tennessee. Now, the thing with that, you know, he only had three offers, and he definitely probably could have had more. This guy was a playmaker. This guy was a straight baller at the receiver position. But the thing that killed him, honestly, was some games he would not get targets. Or, like, he'll get, like, one catch or, like, very minimal targets pretty much throughout the whole season, as you could see on Last Chance U. And, honestly, I'm going to say this. Now, he probably has a love-hate relationship with his coach. Like, they probably, like, both really have a good relationship with each other off the field. But, like, on the field, like, the coach was berating him, honestly, a lot for, like, no reason. It was always just pretty much him. Of course, you know, the show's probably showing that part only to show some drama. But honestly, he really couldn't eat up as much as he really wanted to because, well, all the quarterbacks went down and Dior, who was a receiver... Now, he didn't play bad at quarterback, don't get me wrong, but he's a receiver playing quarterback. Now, let's talk about some of his stats from this past season. This past season, he played in 10 games and had 327 receiving yards and 4 touchdowns. Now, he didn't get a lot of targets, unfortunately. He definitely would have put more numbers if he got more targets. And like he said in the very end of the show, every 5 catches he had, he had a touchdown. The dude is a playmaker. RJ is now attending Tusculum University in Tennessee, which is a D2 program. Congrats to him. The next guy we're going to talk about is offensive lineman. New, I'm not going to try his last name though, guys. I don't want to butcher it. And if I try to say it, 100% I'm going to butcher it. So I'm just going to call him New like he was called on the show. Now, New was a straight dog in the trenches, man. This guy was getting pancakes, laying people out. And this guy was just a big burst of energy and he helped out the team a lot especially with energy he had that dog mentality that underdog mentality dude was just a straight up dog and i really liked him and he you know anyone that hates new man you guys are tripping because new was honestly a really funny guy and he's a caring father too the dude's amazing character i love the guy the dude's awesome he's one of my favorite characters probably all the time he's not my favorite character this season that's a deal now let's talk about new and where he's at now New did have a couple offers according to 247 Sports. He had an offer from Alabama A&M and Murray State, and now he is going to Murray State. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Razan Wright, who was a cornerback and was honestly probably the best defensive player on the defensive side. And when he went down with injury, the DB core definitely got weaker without him. Now, this guy was really good, and even though in the beginning he was extremely cocky, telling everyone he had six offers, number one quarterback in California, yada, 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 you get the point. Even saying it to the referees, even though the referees were honestly doing him quite dirty in the first episode, and they probably didn't have that right to, because he was just asking simple questions, and they were like, man, you're an adult. And, you know, it's just, 
you know, it just happens. It happens in football sometimes. You have terrible referees. Now, this guy had a total of eight offers. One from Oregon State, Colorado, UCF, Fresno State, Hawaii, San Jose State, UCLA, and Utah State. And he ultimately decided to go to Oregon State and join his brother. And now he'll be competing for a starting spot opposite of his brother. And if they're on the, if they're both starters, that's awesome. Because how many college football teams have brothers that are starting on the same side of the ball? Not many. And I really did like this guy too. I know some people don't really like cockiness and a bunch of trash talk. But I did like the trash talk. And... You know, once the season pr was progressing, I mean, he wasn't telling everyone he had six offers and stuff like that like he was in the first episode. But if he was doing that the whole time, I probably wouldn't have liked it. But I did like this guy quite a bit. This guy was a really good quarterback, and I think he's be pretty dang good for Oregon State. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Damar Johnson. Now, Damar did make quite a bit of some appearances, but he was pretty much wide receiver number three. At least it, the show portrayed that. Now, obviously, he didn't get a lot of targets or receiving yards, and he only played seven games. He had 57 receiving yards and no touchdowns, and, you know, a factor to that really has to be all the quarterbacks going down and, you know, the offense just not succeeding the way they want to. Daymar is now playing college football at California State University, Northridge. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Quante Morris. Now, Quante is a tight end on the roster and was a tight end in the show. Now, he's not really in the show that much. They really don't show him that much. I think, I believe he makes an appearance in like maybe two to three episodes. And one episode, he makes a lot of screen time for him. Because he's not a main character on their show. He wasn't mainly portrayed. They showed off his house, which was a small house in the hood. But Aquante, according to his Twitter and Instagram bio, is now going to Grambling State. The next guy I'm going to talk about is Ryan Mackey. Now, Ryan Mackey only played about half the season. He was the starting quarterback in QB number one. But Ryan Mackey tore his meniscus in practice literally the week after game number one. But he did bounce back from that, and he played pretty well the whole time. Apparently, he had a bunch of D2 interest, or at least that's what the show made it out to be. And, you know, the show kind of lets you feel like he signed with a D2 school, but that's not the case. I just saw on Twitter of a JUCO list of top unsigned quarterbacks for the JUCO level, and he was on it. Next guy we're going to talk about is Timmy Dorsey, defensive tackle. Now, I don't know where Timmy Dorsey is going to now. I couldn't really find anything saying where he's going to play a ball at next year, but I see that he is still training, and I hope... He is going to play football next year somewhere, and I hope I find that out soon. I did like this guy on the show. I felt like he was a good player, even though sometimes, you know, he got in trouble, but that happens to everybody. Next guy I'm going to talk about is KJ Gardner, who was the third string quarterback, and he unfortunately did not get to play a lot of time this season due to when he actually had a chance to be a starter. He didn't play the best, even though he does have some potential, according to the coaches, because he's versatile. But KJ got hurt in his first game he played in. KJ is still on the Laney College football team. The next guy we're going to talk about was second string quarterback, Carson Jarrett. Now, he couldn't take part in the starting quarterback role when Ryan Mackey was down because of his shoulder and he couldn't really throw the ball without his shoulder bugging him because he had shoulder tendonitis. And from what I see, he really didn't play a lot. And if he didn't play at all, you know, it's just... I mean, I see it says he played two games, but on last chance, you never see him play at all. He, I assume, is still with Laney College. I didn't see anything confirming it, but I didn't see anything saying he's not. So I'm going to assume he is still with Laney College. The next player we're going to focus on is Contrell Pierce, who's a defensive back for Laney. Now, he really didn't make much screen time talking. The only time he really did was when he was suspended for a game, and he was at the game while they were losing, and the coach was kind of berating him. Like, this is your fault that we're losing. When he wasn't playing and talking about how he didn't need them, and then he said behind his back that they do need them because they're losing, basically, just to summarize that part for y'all. Now, Control Pierce, I cannot really find anything saying what school or what team he's going to play for next year. If someone finds out, let me know in the comments. 
He was a starting defensive back for them. When they were playing on defense, you did see him quite a bit when he was in the game. The final player I'm going to talk about today is Amir Mujahid. Now, I'm probably butchering that, but, you know, let me know in the comments how you pronounce his last name. Now, Amir didn't really have any screen time when he was talking, but I always saw him at the end of the play when the play was going on on the defensive side of the ball. Amir is a defensive tackle, and I'm surprised they didn't give this guy, like, any screen time at all or even mention him. It's kind of dirty how they did him. Because this guy is now going to play football at Washington State University. And he was a three-star recruit on the JUCO level according to 247 Sports. And in his bio for Washington State, it said he was all Bay 6 League first team honors as he compiled 36 tackles, 11 solo with 1.5 sacks, 7.5 tackles for loss, 2 fumble recoveries. And his freshman season, he even had... 32 tackles, 14 solo, and a sack. This dude sounded like a complete dog, and I knew when I was watching Last Chance U, this guy was always at ev the end of every play I saw where he could be, and this guy was always trying to make plays and was making plays, and I just saw them, and I remembered him, and this guy's a dog, and I see him doing quite a bit at Washington State, and I hope he's going to play a lot, and I hope he does good there. Remember to smash that like button, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly out.